Are Miss America pageant contestants pretty? Asked them. Yes, I think I am, said Miss West Virginia, Patricia Ann Paul. I don't think I'm the prettiest girl in the world. I think pretty comes from within. You know, pretty is as pretty does. Unsolved. The John Bonet Ramsey case. Little Miss Plaything. Uh, police and investigators have assured us that this is a case which can be solved. You know, you may be eluding the authorities for a time, but God knows who you are, and we will find you. Not only did Patsy kill John Bonet, but she was molesting her. Melinda Ramsey, John's older daughter, stated that he has never, ever, ever abused us in any way. In mid-September, a panel of pediatric experts from around the country reached one of the major conclusions of the investigation, that John Bonet had suffered vaginal trauma prior to the day she was killed. There were no dissenting opinions among them. One expert summed it up well when he said that the injuries were not consistent with sexual assault, but with a child who was being physically abused. There are some important points of difference between male and female perpetrators of child sex abuse. Generally speaking, females tend to offend against younger victims and are less discriminate about victim gender. There are a number of theories as to why women sexually abuse children. Researchers suggest some women abuse their own daughters as a result of narcissistic tendencies. In these cases, an older woman's need for admiration and exaggerated sense of self-importance, for example, leads to jealousy of her daughter. Research has found female child sex offenders are much more likely to offend against their own children or a child in their care than male child sex offenders. In contrast, male child sex offenders are more likely to be older relatives of the child, a partner of the child's mother, friends, or neighbors. Many victims of female perpetrated sexual abuse struggle with the deep betrayal of having the one person they trust most in their entire lives, their mother or caretaker, sexually abuse them. Another category is one researchers have termed the predisposed molester. Women in this group often experience abuse themselves and may have addictive personalities. A similar category of the mother molester may comprise a significant portion of female child sex offenders. Research has routinely indicated that women are four and a half times more likely to offend against their biological child as well as other children in their care. Elks Leadership Contest Field House Office Assistant Junior Orchestrist Junior West Winner, Little Red Cheerleader, Mask and Gavel, Mummers, Pep Club, Red Wing Drill Team, Review, Senior West Winner, Sports Carnival, Student Faculty Form, Teenager of the Month Nominee, Thespians, 
Voice of Democracy School winner, WEO, National Forensics League, State Drama Festival winner. Patsy molested John Bonet that night. John Bonet cried and screamed, possibly called for her father. Patsy gravely injured John Bonet. Then she could not call 911 for medical help. And then she decided to cover up the crime. And she covered it up, making it look like an assault so she wouldn't be suspected of causing her injuries. And all of this makes sense because you could see the child abuse for yourself with all the pageants dressing her up and using her as some kind of plaything instead of being a real mother. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and I'd like to hear what you think. Are you a bigot? Discriminatory? A man-hater? Isn't it possible that she was abused by her mother and not her father? What's your opinion? I'll see you next weekend.